Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be going over what are the best electric guitar strings for beginners. So let's dive into that right now. Now, when it comes to guitar strings, the question I get all the time is what size of strings should I get for my guitar? And that's gonna depend on a few things. And some of those things are actually myths. Back in the day, the standard gauge guitar string set was based on an eight gauge string. So that's 0 0.08 hundredths of an inch. They're actually measured by thousandths of an inch. And so an eight gauge set, the first string, your highest sounding string is 0 0.08 hundredths or 80 thousandths of an inch. And back in the day, that was the standard. That was your standard set, was everything was based on that eight gauge string. And so your first string is an eight, and then everything got thicker as you went down and got to your thicker strings. But then along came Stevie Ray Vaughan, who famously played 13 gauge strings. Now that is a lot heavier than an eight gauge string and it requires more strength for bending and cool phrasing stuff and vibrato. And Stevie, well, he was just a monster of a player. Side note, me and Stevie Ray Vaughan share a birthday. Cool, right? But because he sounded so good, a lot of people started to associate the fact that he was playing thicker strings with having better tone because Stevie Ray Vaughan's tone is awesome. Who doesn't like that tone? However, Rick Beato and Rhett Schull just did a video recently about string gauge size and how the myth of thicker strings equals better tone isn't necessarily true. I recommend that you go check that video out. What I got from watching that and what I've learned from my own playing and experimenting, because I used to play 12s and 11s and 10s. As time has gone on, I've actually gotten lighter and lighter with my strings. And so I was going to nines and then about the time I saw that Rick Beato video, I was just about ready to switch my guitar strings to eights. So my conclusion from my own experience and from watching that video is that thicker strings don't necessarily give you better tone. What they do is they give you darker tone. Lighter strings give you a brighter tone. And if you're playing with a band or you're recording, that brighter tone is gonna have a much easier time cutting through the mix. So when somebody asks me what size of string should I use, apart from the tone issue of it being darker or being brighter, the most important thing that I think matters is ease of play. Because when it comes to playing guitar, we wanna have fun playing guitar, we wanna have fun doing what we wanna do with it, and not feel restricted because we're playing heavy strings. Now I've had students, especially older students, and young, young kid students that have a hard time with thicker strings. And so lately, what my recommendation has been is to get the lightest strings possible. This guitar, and actually all but one of my guitars right now, are strung with seven gauge strings. And that is the lightest possible gauge of strings that you can get. Now, does that mean that my tone is thin and tinny and sounds weak? No, not really, because your strings matter a little bit on how dark or how bright your tone is, but more to do with that is your amp and your guitar than the actual strings themselves. The biggest thing for me and why I started playing seven gauge strings though, is that they're so easy to play. Like it doesn't hurt my fingers at all. It's super easy to bend. I can do three whole step bends with them if I want to, I, you know, but I can, I don't have to, but I can. And every student that I've had switch over to these super light seven or eight gauge strings, they say the same thing. It is super easy to play. It's so much nicer. And then you don't have to worry about your fingers and your strings as much as you do just playing super light and having fun. <laughs> the strings that I have been playing. These are Reverend Willie's Mexican Lottery brand fine electric guitar strings. 
which are Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top signature strings. They come in seven gauge and eight gauge strings. I like the sevens. They're super light. They're super easy to play. Like I said, I've got all but one of my guitars that has them on it now. And I think I've only broken one string in the last several months of using them. Because like I said, you can bend super far. Check this out. I can bend on my third string. This is my 12th fret. And a three step bend is gonna be bending up to this note, right? It's so cool. So when it comes to what strings are the best beginner strings, I say the lightest strings possible in, in this case, that's seven gauge strings. If you can't get seven gauge strings, or you're like, nah, I don't wanna try that, that's too light, go for eight gauge strings. Cause eight gauge strings, at least are gonna be a lot lighter than tens that are kind of the standard that come on guitars nowadays. Now, a quick note though, is whatever gauge strings you get, when you put a new gauge of string on your guitar, get your guitar set up. Take it to a luthier, take it to a guitar shop, or if you know what you're doing, set your guitar up, you're gonna have to adjust your truss rod, you're going to adjust your t intonation, you're gonna have to adjust your action, you may have to adjust your nut, Okay, so you're gonna have to mess around and make sure that your guitar is set up right for whatever gauge of strings it is that you're using. So that's it guys. These are the strings that I recommend beginners use because they're super light, they're super easy to play, they don't hurt my fingers nearly as much as anything, and a lot of my students have really liked making the switch to a lot lighter strings. So get some seven gauge strings. I've got a link for these in the description that is an affiliate link. Now, if you don't want to use my link, just go get Reverend Willie's Mexican Lottery guitar strings and they're cool. I like them. So have fun with that. Thanks for watching today. I hope that answered your questions about what are the best beginner electric guitar strings. On top of this though, I do have another gift for you at my website. If you go to simpleguitar.com slash top 10, there I have a guide for you called the top 10 things to learn on guitar first. And it's 10 things that I teach beginners all the time to get them making real music and sounding like a pro because there's all sorts of stuff in there. There's, you know, learning power chords first instead of open chords. There's what open chords to learn first when you do get there. There's uh, the first scale to learn. There's how to use your guitar amp. There's the one big thing that a lot of guitar players don't do is they don't watch their right hand, especially beginners. There's a lot of things in there that are going to really help your guitar playing. So go to simpleguitar.com slash top 10, download the top 10 things to learn on guitar first guide for free is my gift to you as a way of saying thank you for watching the video today. Have fun with that. Have fun playing some light guitar strings. I enjoy them. I hope that you enjoy them too. And I will catch you in the next video.